Hi everyone, this is Joseph from Forest Tech Reviews, aka your favorite Cajun tech reviewer, back with another video. Today's video, I have a quick tip for you. If you live in the US and you're trying to use a Google Messaging app, like I said in my three day review of this phone, I haven't been able to send people not using RCS, basically people on iOS and Apple, a text message unless I'm sending it a MMS to them or a group text. It's been a pain. Every time you try to send it, it will try to ask for payment unless you type in like one word. Shout out to someone from XDA. I'm gonna call him Mr. Galen. I'm gonna have the link in the description so that way you can see his post in there and get his full name. But I haven't seen someone do a video on it, so I wanted to make a video. I've been using it for about a day now and I have restarted my computer. I mean, my phone, I have part of the phone off and it still works when you turn it back on. So it's not like you have to go back in there and turn it on every time you turn off your phone. You do have to turn on developer options, which I will show you how to do that really quick too, but let's get into it. But look, look at her. Mm. Look at that form factor too. So. If you hear, if I'm trying to send a message right now, right to my daughter, and I and I'm just saying trying to be helpful, and if I try to send it right now, you get this message right there. At least on T-Mobile, I get it. Now, if you wait long enough, it might send it, but. What, how you want to fix that is you go into your settings. Hopefully the, the, the phone is, I mean, the camera is, is not blurry. You go into your settings. You want to go to about device. You go to version. You click the build number 10 times or eight times. And it will let you know that you're, I'm already a developer. So I have it unlocked. Once you unlock it. Then you go to additional settings. You scroll down to where you see developer options, which wasn't there before. And here you want to scroll all the way down to apps. Be careful when you're in here too. You don't want to turn on something or turn off something that might really hinder the phone. You go to apps wherever apps is, all the way down. Now, I don't even know what this does or anything, but right there where it says disable permission monitoring, if you turn that on or if you disable it, now I'm gonna go back and type the same thing. Trying to get phone to Text, boring, iPhone users. And now, instead of waiting, it actually has it on there. If my, my phone wasn't so bright, as you can tell, it sent it. Now, my daughter probably will reply with something mean, so... But that's pretty much it. If I restart my phone, if I turn it off for a few hours, that will stay turned off. So it actually works. I've been sending messages, testing it out. This is just a quick way of sending messages, especially if they're on iPhones. You don't have to worry about going back to the default app. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you do so. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter at Forest Reviews. Become part of the BAM Nation. And until next time, peace. I'm out. Hopefully this video helped y'all out. Later.